Taking you, Mama? You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly turn on, out any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. We owe you. No doubt about that. Get going. Diamond City is where you need to head. Let's get the price we paid to get this far. Let's move out. I'll take the ball. Stay close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss.
Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Ferrum, 9-5. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range.
Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of guy. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. Now you have the right idea. Power on. Only way to travel. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry. But Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh! You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. No need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that parts. Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I... I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah. Greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. I guess we'll see. This is ridiculous. 
Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help? I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... Stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Officer, head on inside. Hey, Sullivan. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Oh, sure it did. Happened so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. Didn't your mother ever teach you to be honest? Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but... We're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey. I don't take bribes, okay? No. I'll ask somewhere else then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> Read the public and be prepared. Anyone is, is one of those things. It's that Am secretary I of his, you. her oh, and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. Combat zone. Stay clear if I was you. Exactly what a synth would say. But 
I don't know. Are you really, uh, human? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what we got.
haircut? Everyone needs a real a vault suit. Step up. Damn. Who's really in control of Diamond City? Hey, Scaver. Got plenty of ramen meat. I can't believe you eat that food. There's only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's the bulls. Yeah, it's got it. What can I say? When lo out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters, a mire lurk. A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Damn. Oh, I forgot you were there, Yefim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. I don't like talking to people. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <coughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Let's see what you've got. Not to bias you, but everything's delicious. Oh, a customer. Need a room? Sorry, I'm a little light on caps. Come back when you have the money. Vadim. Come, come, have a drink. I didn't buy bar to sell water. I'll take a look, sure. Don't order just one now. Leave it up. We haven't scared you off yet. Need a room? All right. Here. You're in room two, just through the door. Have a nice day. What's with you vault dwellers in those jumpsuits, huh? Don't do it. Please! Drop by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes, I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? 
Who were they? That blue is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before, didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Thanks, Piper. I'll talk to him. He'll like you. He's got a soft spot for the hard luck cases. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that, or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. It's big, loud, full of Don't corrupt move. officials and... What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a sin! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. possible infiltration of Diamond City's ruling elite by synths? Yeah, Piper, I am. But I ain't buying your lousy newspaper. Oh, uh, well, thanks, everyone still standing I guess. For? Go back to your own damn business. Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Well, that's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is gonna 
get you snatched up by the sense. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Sorry. I'll come back later. No, that's not what I mean. We're not just closed for the day. We're closed permanently. The detective's gone missing. Nikki's missing? What has he gotten himself into this time? Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast aways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Hey. You say the word. Piper. What's going on? Your thoughts? Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. I was just wondering where you and I stand. I suppose things are alright. Just feels like we could be doing more for folks out here, you know? Oh, nothing. Alright, 